Hello. Husky is back again with more San Jose Sharks GM Adventures Mode commentary. Uh, last video we did the off season, kind of retooled. Um, I don't think we really could do anything, since we didn't have a lot of cap space. Um, but we had just about the entire rosters back. Um, I mulled the idea that trading for Redeem Verbata would be a good move for the bottom six. Um, commenter suggested I look into a playmaker instead. So that is what I'm going to do. Um, as you can see on the screen, um, I found a playmaker I want to go for. Uh, Ryan Spooner is that playmaker. He makes $3.3 .3 million. He has two years left on his deal. He's 25 years old. Uh, it won't let me see his info, so I will go to him. 84 overall. Um, good stats. Playmaker. Solid third liner. Uh, will fit real well with the uh, Hurdle. I think Hurdle's down there still. And I'm going to be able to get him without giving up a whole lot of my future. Um, dude, no, not done, Squid. I think these two are the ones I went with. Now, Balsers, I don't think he turns into anything because I never see him anywhere. So these are the three guys I'm going to trade. A coin, Balsers, and a third for Ryan Spooner. Now, I did kind of already go through this, and I know that this will go through. And all I have to do is send down Brian Lurg, who I think was like a 70-something extra forward. Like, he's not real... I already sent them down, so yeah, I'm I'm all good. Timo Meyer and Nikolai Godolbin have one more year in the AHL before I even think about bringing them up. Uh, and I don't think there's anybody else I want to bring up. So if we avoid injuries, we'll be good. But I have extra guys just in case. So if I don't go to my lines, I want to put Spooner on the third line. Oh, let's best lines this first. Make sure I've got everybody where they need to be. Bergman, Ryan. Actually, Roy needs to be up here. Offense, I need Godolbin on the first line. There we go. Oop, I wanted to... Okay, I'll go back to that. I have to fix my NHL lines. And we'll do a little bit of simming this video. There they are. Defense went down. That surprises me. Because he's not in the lineup yet. So my best lines is Sedin, Thornton, Pavelski, Playmaker, Sniper, yep. Couture, Hurdle, Marlowe, Donskoy, Carlson, Jones, Tierney, Goudreau, Haley. So it doesn't even put him in the lineup? Are you kidding me? I mean, I know he's a center, but... Alright, well, Hurdle... I had him playing over here, and I had Marlowe on the third line... Don Squay was on the second line because he's a good two-way forward. He matches up well with Hurdle and Couture. Fourth line, it was gonna, I was going to move Carlson down. Is this how I had it? Yeah, and then we'll swap out Haley with Spooner. Make sure he's got the right shot. Yep, we're good. Alright, now Carlson, I'm sure, is not going to be thrilled with playing on the fourth line, but it's just how they fall, man. I mean, I could take Carlson and put him on the second line, but I think Donskoy will get progression. And I like his defense more than I like Carlson's. But we'll see how that goes. So who do I have scratched now? I said, I kind of want to play him instead of Gujro, but Gujro kind of... Oops, not Carlson. Alright, so that fourth line is pretty much all defense, and there's a little bit of offense as well. It's a good mix. I think our third line is set. Second line looks good. We'll see how Donskoy does. If he struggles, I'll move him. 
sure I got all the good shots on the right sides, and we are good. Defense, Vlasic, Burns, Mueller, Braun, Dylan, Quincy. I think we are set. I kind of want to put Justin Braun on the third pair and let Dylan get up here, but Dylan's already... Yeah, Dylan can stay there. CR, is he unhappy? No, he's not. He's fine. Marco Mueller, Burns, Vlasic, these are both top two guys, right? Yep. Alright, and then we have Martin Jones and Thomas Grace. Alright, we are good to go. Alright, let's see if we can go back-to-back -back cups here. Oh, I thought I already simmed to the preseason. Whoops. That would have simmed to the regular season anyway. Yeah, so this is goals for this year. Pretty clear this is year two. I love that in the amount of videos it took me to get to year two in the Sharks, I'm already in year three on the Oilers. Granted, I understand the playoffs kind of help with that. Oh, and if you didn't notice, um, I forgot to, I didn't forget, but I didn't put videos up on Sunday like I was supposed to. Uh, it was Easter, and I kind of forgot that I wasn't going to be home. So there's a dual upload today on Monday. Um, if you didn't see, there's already an Edmonton Oilers video up by the time this one goes up. So check that out if you're watching both series. And the normal series schedule, where it's one a day during the week, starts up again on Tuesday. And the only other double upload days will be on Sunday, unless I'm feeling cheeky and I decide that I want to do something. But game one of the year, Pittsburgh's in town. Stanley Cup rematch. So let's see if we get off to a good start. Alright, hey, Joe Pavelski, already on the board. I like it. Alright, there we go. Sedin with two. Nice. They have 10 shots through two periods. The Pittsburgh Penguins have 10 shots through two periods. We have 30. Oh, Brian Russ gets a shorty, though. That's not what I want to see. Martin Jones, man. You gotta... You gotta instill some confidence here, bud. Matt Murray is keeping him in this third period. That was a bad penalty to take, but it was a good kill. Alright, so it looks like we... Yeah, I mean, hey, we won. We dominated, but... We couldn't get any scoring in the third, and that kind of... That kind of hindered what that game should have been. But, hey. I'll take an opening win on... Or win on opening day. That doesn't usually happen for my teams. Uh, I think this team is disgustingly good. Like, this is one of the better teams I've put together. So, we'll barely squeak into the playoffs... And have to go like six or seven games each round, I'm assuming. Because for whatever reason in this game, good rosters don't win, but shitty rosters do. Well, the Edmonton Oilers kind of debunked that theory with sucking two years in a row with a bad team. So while this sims, because I'm pretty much just, I mean, I anticipate us doing well. I guess I'll talk about the NHL playoffs going on. Not sure who's in NHL. I'm assuming if you're watching my videos, you're a fan of hockey in the NHL and you're keeping up with the playoffs. Uh, the Sharks are looking a little rough right now. Edmonton Oilers and Cam Talbot really, really kind of giving it to them. Cam Talbot shut them out in back-to-back -back games. I mean, it's only one nothing, but man, I'm I'm surprised to see. I mean, I picked the Oilers. I did a bracket challenge, and I picked the Oilers to win in six. Just because I don't know, hockey playoff hockey's back in Edmonton. I figured they'd be able to win all their home games. But man, they're up two to one. They took a game from San Jose in San Jose. That's something I was not expecting. But yeah, my uh. The two teams that I root for, if you haven't watched any of my BA Pro videos I used to do, that kind of series kind of died because of lack of interest, both from viewers and myself. Um, the two teams I support are the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Chicago Blackhawks. The Chicago Blackhawks comes from living in Chicago, and the Toronto Maple Leafs comes from... They were the first team I ever physically played an 82-game season with in an NHL video game. I think I did it in NHL 06 or 05. So I just kind of... Got real, like, enamored with... Oh boy, Vlasic's hurt. That's not good. December 8th. So he's not missing very much. Um, but, like, I knew everything about the team. I knew all the players. I knew all the, like, where to play them. So that developed a, a love of the team. 
Hey, what, man? If you told me after two games that the Leafs would be tied at one and the Hawks wouldn't have scored a goal in the first two games, I would have called you an idiot. <laughs> 100%. But the Blackhawks have looked like shit. Uh, I don't know what the Nashville Predators are doing, man, but goddamn, they are stifling the Blackhawks. Like, it's, it's, it's insane how, how good their defense is. Oh shit, look at our fucking 94 of Robert Burns. God damn. I'm liking us. Carlson actually got a boost played on the fourth line. Shit. So yeah, I know, I know I have some Scandinavian viewers, some European viewers, so I'm sure the, seeing guys like Pecorine do well and Frederick Anderson do well are probably a, something that's cool to see. I'm a big fan of Freddie Anderson, the Toronto goalie, because I have Danish heritage and it's cool to see a Danish goalie doing well, especially for a team that I root for. Um, like I said, I'm kind of just letting the sim roll because we know what this is. It's basically just get through the regular season to the playoffs. Uh, the team's set. I don't have any cap space. I can't really do anything. Um, nobody left in the off season. The only change I made was Kyle Quincy for Paul Martin. But yeah, I mean, we're 17-7-5. I'm pretty much rolling through this first part of the sim. Daniel Sedin's been hurt. December 28th, so he'll miss six games. That's not great, but get hurt now, and we'll be okay. Let's not get hurt at the playoffs, and I'll be 7 nothing over the Blues. Damn. And so we've won five straight. 21-7-5. God damn, we are rolling. So the playoffs have been fun to watch. I'm surprised to see the uh, Kyle Quincy's been hurt January 2nd. Alright, Sedin's back, but he's not ready yet. Um, I'm surprised to see Pittsburgh up 3-0 on the Blue Jackets. I mean, I picked the Pens to win in 5, because I don't really think the Blue Jackets are a good team. And the Blue Jackets, I just got a notification on my phone, just lost Zach Wawrinski for the entire playoffs. As he has a facial fracture and will not play. Um, but I'm, I figured Columbus would be able to beat up Pittsburgh to be able to win games, but clearly Pittsburgh's just outskilling the uh, the Columbus Blue Jackets. They did they threw that game away yesterday. They were up three to one, seven minutes in, and they lose in overtime. That was rough. All right, so we'll sit in the next game. We'll go cover stats, see how our team's doing. I mean, we're twenty-two, eight and five. We have forty-nine points, first in the division. Um, pretty much exactly where I expected us to be. Joe Pavelski, let's oh, see if we're another top six kind of team here. No, we have a lot more depth this year. 33, 30, 30, 27. Sedina has 15. Hurdle has 14. Hurdle's really jumping into that sniper role, man. Logan Couture is a minus two somehow. Hurdle's a minus four. So that line's not playing very good defense. I might have to pull Donskoy off that line. Where is Donskoy? Oh boy, he's got 10 points in 35 games. So yeah, I think I'm going to pull Domsquay off that second line. Granted, he has a plus. Um, I wonder if I should put Ryan Spooner up there. I'll have to look. Or maybe even just swapping out Tierney and Carlson. Because Tierney's only 23. So he can play that fourth line center role and probably do alright. His defense is so good too. Carlson might be better fit on that second line. It's either Carlson or Spooner. I really don't want to move Spooner because that third line, Spooner is 22. Who else is on that third line? Marlow. Marlow is 25 and... Oh, it's Tierney, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know, I'll have to look. Our team's still good though. Burns and Vlasic are a plus 10, or a plus 15 and a plus uh, 9. Don't really have any defensemen struggling. I guess Braun is, Braun's even, but I mean, other than that, we're doing fine. Oops. Goaltenders, Martin Jones, 17 and 5. The goals against high is, is a little high. Saber is a little low, but he started out that way last year and kind of brought it together. And he had a good play. He won the con smite, so. I'm a fan of this Pavelski having almost a point per game, but he won't be a yeah, fucking Stamkos, man. 
Look at these goal totals. 26, 25, 25, 24. Like, they're just going to lead their own. Stamkos, Tarasenko, Ovechkin, and Malkin. That's insane. Bukestad's up there? Nice. I like to see the random players that usually aren't up there, like Stasny. Cool. Very cool. LeBlanc, Rod, Myers struggling. Gnolbin struggling. I don't think these guys are going to get the necessary progression they need, but... Timo Meyer is an 81. Maybe I should call him up. Call him up and send down Solera. No, with Solera's... I think I'm going to leave Timo Meyer down there. He's a depth forward, but I you think he's going to leave him there. Maybe the guy they're playing with at center isn't good enough. Maybe I should put Noah Rod back with him. Actually, I'm gonna go make that change. I'm gonna go look at my line since I have a few minutes here. I'm not gonna do any more simming in this video, but we're gonna go look at our look at our lines and I'll ask for input. All right, so Donskoy really struggling on the second line. Should I move Melko Carlson up there, or should I move Chris Tierney up there? Who has better offense? Tierney has better offense. Carlson's more of a complete player. Um, I think I'm gonna move Tierney up here. I'm gonna move Donskoy to the fourth line. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. But I'm not gonna touch my defense. Defense is doing fine. Weber's only in there because what's his face is hurt. We'll put Noah Rod back at center here. See if we can get Meyer and Godolbin going. Because ideally these guys take over the team next year once. Because next year I'm anticipating having to kind of rebuild. But at the same time... Yeah, I'll have to rebuild. Because Sedin's going to retire. Thornton's going to retire. Uh, I'll probably trade Pavelski. It's going to be built around the second line is going to be my first line going forward. Tyranny, Kachor, and Hordle. Defensively, my defense is going to hang around. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, those are the changes I'm going to make. Um, feel free to give your input on any lines you might want to see. I might honestly move, drop Hurdle, or move Hurdle to the first line and drop Sidney to the second line. Because Sedin has 15 goals, but Hurdle has 14. I think Hurdle might do better on that first line. But yeah, give me your feedback on possible line combinations. Um, as always, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And once again, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.